about his past or his, but it was always very anecdotic and uh, never an explanation or justification or whatever. He wanted to become an older man and he wanted to be a, a father, uh, which was not always very fun for us. And um, he, so that's to say, yes, when he died, I had no idea about what he, who he had done during the time uh, we didn't see him. And shortly after his death, my uh, mother very, very solemnly uh, came to me with a pile of uh, little notebooks and said, so that these notebooks are, were written by your father when he was in jail. It's not a diary, but it's uh, the, 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 the tale, the tale you can say, not the, the, the scene of what he, he's done. But please, please, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I, it took me some, some time to read, the, to read these notebooks because I, Really, I didn't want to know. Uh, I think I didn't want to know what the, what the truth was. And at that time, I had a, a Jewish friend, very good friend. She's still my best friend. And you know, I was 20 when we met, 19, 20. And when my father died, so she she asked me. She asked me that you never you never told anything about your father. So do you have any idea who what he was, who he was? And I I was like a like a parrot, you know, like repeating things like, he was a collaborator, he was in jail, but, and she said, but why, do you know why? And I said, no, I, I don't know why, never told. And she said, but you were absolutely crazy, now you have these notebooks, you must read that stuff. So it took me some months to read that, and uh, of course it was a terrible, terrible shock, because I, I didn't realize at what, uh, at what point he had been involved in the whole uh, collabora collaboration. You know, I just, it was very, very hazy what I knew. Anyway, so that's how I started, well, I had the idea of writing, but I never wrote anything before. But I thought, well, now I have a good story. That's my story, I'm going to start with it. And so I told everybody I'm going to leave Paris with my, daughter was two years old at that time and I had, I had my first husband also <laughs> and uh, we left and uh, everybody said well, she's completely crazy she's you know you, you can't write a book like that just because you want to write it anyway I did <laughs> <laughs> uh, and actually it's, it's funny because I, I chose this passage and it's I think it's the first the first scene I, I wrote uh, when I was asked, like, I, well, I, I was, I worked one time as a, as a publisher and a museum, but I, I was, you know, secretary in a, in a, in an office. I was a little employee, mm -hmm. and but I had told uh, to my uh, my boss about what I <coughs> what wanted to read, and he asked me, but try, try to read a scene, try to read something, start with one scene. And it's that scene I wrote the first time. And that scene is, um, so it takes place in 1946. Um, when my father actually came back from Germany, where, uh, as Harry told you, he, he stayed <coughs> in the camp there um, for one year and, uh, and didn't want to go to the States. He was proposed, uh, he was uh, American, uh, the American army proposed him to take him to the States. And I, I think he would have become you know, proposed for the CIA. You know, <laughs> and he, well, that's, you know, and he, he refused and he said, no, I'm going to, I'm a French man, I'm a pa patriot, I go back, I will go back to my, uh, uh, to my um, country and I will uh, explain what I did. So that's the scene when he comes back, but um, we, we didn't see him. You know, when he left, when I, when I was two years old, in uh, 44, I was born in 42, so in 44 he left for Germany. I have no recollection about that. And then this is 46, when 
One spring day, 